Page four, Game Day Rag. This is a ragtime style piece of music. I'll go through a system I use. Everybody has a certain process they use when learning a new piece of music. If you don't have, you will have. You'll develop it over time. This is the process that I use for learning a new piece of music. First, I'll look it over and get an idea about how long it is. It's two pages long. Check the clef signs because you never know. Trouble and bass. Check the key signature. Now, this has no sharps or flats in the key signature, so we're in the key of C major. But make sure you can do the scales and probably the arpeggios for C major and A minor, at least one octave up and down. I, I explained it in the videos. 4-4 four, four time signature. I want to take it one hand at a time and make sure I know what the hands are doing. The right hand starts here, and it's just one and two and one and two three and four and if this rhythm throws you this is because you're playing on the end of the beats take out that tie and play all those notes one and that's what it is and then when you can do that okay put the tie back in one and two and three and four it's the same rhythm so much for that now at the top of page 5, I measure 13. You remember the numbers in the little boxes at the beginning of the lines are measure numbers. So measure 13. The notes are here. But it has an 8VA optional. Which means if you want to, you can play this an octave higher. So when you finish measure 12 here, and you lift up. Instead of here, you just lift up and move. You're just going from here to here. So here. If you want to. When measure 16, that ABA goes away. So when you're done with that, you just come back down. You just lift up and move down. Left hand, let's see what it's up to. It's here. Just half notes. Oh, this is fun. Okay. And all I see are half notes and quarter notes pretty much for the left hand. Now take a look at measure 20. They're quarter notes, but the sum has to come up. Up. Here. We're not really changing positions, just these two fingers came up. The thumb and the index finger. So it's the same thing. That's fine. So once I have an idea what each hand is doing, and then I attempt to put them together. And I usually hesitate all over. I don't care. Right now, I just want to know which fingers are working together. It's here. I'll play the C and then the C. One and two and three and four. The idea. Now measure 13, if you do take the right hand up, the left hand doesn't move. It stays right where it is. So because that 8VA only applies to the staff it's next to. If that wanted both hands, or you could do it in both hands, it would say both hands or something. Or there would be an 8VA above the bottom staff. So it's only this hand. So once I have an idea what the hands are doing together, then I go back over it a few hundred times or whatever, and slowly work out the hesitation so it's a steady beat. I can keep it slow, the speed's not important yet, but no hesitations. And once I can do that, then I add the articulation. And here, they have accents. And if you can figure out where the phrases are, you can put in the phrases. For the left hand, I'm going to suggest you pretty much connect it all the way through, except for a few staccatos. And measure 16, I'll talk about that. So it's here, a little extra. To me, measure four on the half note, going into measure five, that's a new phrase. So there I'm like taking a breath. Here. So it's here. But I'm connecting this. Now when I get to measure 16 on these accents for the left hand, some people in interpreting accents when it's note after note that's accented, they'll separate the notes just a little bit. It helps to kind of bring out the accent here. 
Otherwise, you're just playing them louder, huh? Now measure 20, you get uh, accent. Both hands, accent. Once I have an idea of the articulation, then I'll think about the dynamics. See, I, I do this just one thing at a time because I can't focus on a lot of stuff. So just one thing at a time and I build it up. The dynamic given applies to the melody. In this case, it's the right hand. Loud it makes the accent a note a very loud note. This left hand just needs to be in the background someplace. to measure eight you see the hairpin to come down because you're loud and then now it's soft that makes the accent and note as moderately soft you just up here so it's because here is the background but you can still get softer so and then I, I measure 12 at the bottom of the page you get them loud again here. You can't get louder here, I'll even play it with the left hand. And then a measure 13, you're moderately loud in the right hand, wherever you are, here or here, whichever. But the left hand has to suddenly get out of the way. So it's sort of like this here. It leads into that. And this soft soft all of a sudden because that takes it over here and then you get loud and very loud at the end okay then after all that i'll think about the speed very lively in that suite well it needs to be accurate so it's a, one two uh. me you know, I have to take it at that speed you can do more with the dynamics than they give if you feel it remember the natural accents one two three feel them one, two, three. of course the accent and note changes things a little bit but the idea with syncopation is typically you will accent the syncopated note because you are those are just normal rhythm, ba -da -dum, ba, but you're playing it sooner, ba -da -da, ba -da so you accent it. Typically you do that, you don't even need an accent sign, but it's one, two, three, four. The left hand's playing on them, that helps a little bit, because it's playing on the natural accent beats. Let's play this together very slowly to check the notes and the rhythms. I don't do louds and softs on these play with me's in my videos. All we're doing is checking notes and rhythms. We are not performing it and we're going to go really super slow. I measure 13. I am going to take the right hand up an octave. So I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go. And we go really slow. Now because there's eighth notes all over the place, I'm going to put the metronome on eighth notes. Because it's just, I adjust the metronome as I need to. So it's that. That's how fast we're going to go. Super slow, just to make sure you have the right notes and rhythms. Now, make sure you can play it first before you do that. The idea isn't to learn it with the play with me. The idea is to check it. You learn it first and then check it with the play with me. Are you playing the same note I'm playing when I play? One and two and ready and go and. Yeah.
four and